Have you ever wondered if there's a special number of push-ups that can really build muscle? Well, there's a way a lot of guys go about it, but many don't see the results they want. But don't worry, because in this video, I am sharing how you can build muscle with push-ups. And make sure to stick around until the end, as we'll share a push-up routine for gaining mass, whether you're a beginner, in the middle of your fitness journey, or a push-up pro. How many push-ups a day? Push-ups are a popular exercise for strengthening the core and upper body. They work the triceps, pectoral muscles and shoulders, and can also strengthen the lower back and core by engaging the abdominal muscles. However, the number of push-ups can vary based on your fitness level. Beginners might start with a smaller number, like 10 to 20 push-ups per session, while more advanced individuals could aim for 50 or more. According to experts, it's recommended to take 48 to 72 hours of recovery between resistance training sessions. It's been proven to optimize molecular response to gains in muscle size and strength while allowing enough time for proper muscle recovery. After a whole day of work or school, you're probably exhausted and don't want to do any more extra movements than necessary for your muscles. So instead of doing your entire body on one day, you can work out a different muscle group every other day. You have to make your workouts somewhat enjoyable, right? Also, this way, you give your muscles enough time to recover fully between their workouts so that they don't become overworked and at risk of overtraining. Muscular hypertrophy. Muscular hypertrophy means your muscles get bigger and stronger. This happens when you do strength training like weightlifting, which makes tiny tears in your muscles that heal to make them larger. The body repairs these tears and adapts by growing in size and strength. There are two ways muscles grow. Myofibrillar hypertrophy makes muscles stronger and denser by increasing muscle fibers. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy makes muscles look bigger by increasing fluid in the muscles, but doesn't necessarily make them stronger. To build muscle and increase size, strength training is an important way. The goal of strength training is to induce muscle hypertrophy from straining the muscles to cause damage. Push-ups for building muscle mass. Push-ups are a great way to build muscle mass and strength. During push-ups, your muscles work hard by contracting dynamically, fighting resistance, enduring tension, and moving between stretches. These movements create tiny tears in your muscles. After sensing these micro tears, your body kicks into peak performance. Hormone production goes up and extra resources are directed to those hardworking muscles. The final result? Your muscle fibers repair and come back stronger and bolder? That's the swole effect. In fact, Push-ups can be as beneficial as the bench press for anterior hypertrophy, producing the same levels of muscle thickness and strength progression. To achieve muscular hypertrophy, you should perform multiple sets of 6 to 12 repetitions, using a weight that makes the last couple of reps feel challenging. There are many variations of push-ups that can help you achieve hypertrophy. For example, resistance band push-ups can provide a well-rounded exercise for the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Incline push-ups target the lowest head of the chest, the abdominal head, while decline push-ups target the clavicular head, which connects the rotator cuff and the deltoid. Archer push-ups are a horizontal version of push-ups that lengthen the muscle fibers going across the pectoralis minor, similar to the chest fly. Remember, hypertrophy doesn't mean you're growing entirely new muscle fibers, but rather, your existing muscle fibers are getting thicker and taking up more space. It is a common misconception that doing push-ups every day means gains every day. However, Consistent, smart training and giving your muscles the rest they need are key components in the journey to building strength and muscle, especially after the age of 40. Post-workout. After working out, your body fixes the small tears in your muscles. It does this by joining muscle fibers to make new protein strands, which helps your muscles grow. These repaired myofibrils increase in thickness and number to create muscle hypertrophy. Growth. Muscle growth tends to occur more steadily after the initial period of strength gain, because you are more easily able to activate the muscles. Satellite cells are like special helpers in your muscles. When they get activated, they can help muscles grow bigger. Some people's muscles activate these cells more easily, which is why they might gain muscle faster than others. Mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress are the three important scientific concepts to keep in mind when trying to build muscle. And the real muscle building action unfolds post-workout. Working out every day might keep your body busy with repairs, preventing those upgrades. For muscle growth, give your muscles some downtime, let them heal, and witness the good results. If you enjoy content like this, please hit that like and subscribe button for us. Consider hitting the reminder bell so you don't miss any updates. Now let's get to your push-up routine. How many push-ups you should do each day to see results depends on your fitness goal. If you're aiming for stamina, start with the maximum number of push-ups you can do in a row, subtract 10%, and use that as a starting point. For example, if you can do 20 push-ups in a row, Start with 18 for 3 to 5 sets. 
increasing by one rep every other workout for muscle growth. Aim for six to 12 reps for three to five sets with no more than 60 seconds of rest between sets. To build strength, focus on increasing intensity and resistance, doing three to six sets of six or fewer reps. Consider adding weights or resistance bands and rest for about 90 seconds between sets. To enhance power, incorporate explosive or plyometric push-up variations. Aim for failure, doing as many as you can, for three to six sets with rest periods ranging between 90 and 180 seconds. Adjust your push-up routine based on your specific fitness goals. If you are a beginner, aim to push close to your limit without going all the way, sticking to the one less than your max rule. Start with three to four sets of six to 10 push-ups, adjusting the difficulty as necessary. But if you're at an experienced level, challenge yourself with advanced variations like weighted or clapping push-ups. This helps take your workout to the next level and keeps your muscles guessing. Here's a simple and effective routine to strengthen your upper body and keep your arms in great shape for regular push-ups. Let's break it down. Regular push-ups, do three to five sets. Each set should have 15 push-ups. Keep your form strict, body straight, no sagging or arching. Diamond push-ups, do two to three sets. Each set should have 10 push-ups. Place your hands close together to form a diamond shape under your chest. Archer push-ups, do five sets. Each set should have 10 push-ups. Stretch one arm out to the side like an archer while pushing up. Advanced planche push-ups. Do two to three sets. Each set should have 20 push-ups. More challenging. Keep your body more horizontal and use your shoulders more. Max effort push-ups. Do four to five sets. In each set, do as many push-ups as you can until you can't do any more. Keep your form good even when you start to feel tired. Common errors. To avoid during push-ups, sagging hips or arching back. Avoid letting your hips sag down or your back arch up. This can strain your lower back. Keep your body in a straight line from your head to your heels. Flaring elbows. Don't let your elbows flare out wide to the sides. This can put undue stress on your shoulders. Keep your elbows at about a 45 degree angle from your body. Incomplete range of motion. Avoid doing half push-ups where you don't go all the way down or all the way up. Aim to lower your chest close to the ground, then fully extend your arms on the way up looking up or tucking the chin. Don't crane your neck up or tuck your chin into your chest. This can strain your neck. Keep your neck neutral, aligned with your spine. Rushing through reps. Avoid speeding through push-ups without control. Perform each push-up with controlled, steady movements. Incorrect hand placement. Don't place your hands too far forward or too wide. Position your hands slightly wider than shoulder width and directly under your shoulders. Lack of core engagement. Avoid letting your core muscles relax. Engage your abs and glutes to keep your body stable and strong throughout the movement. Here are some tips for you. Regularly check your form in a mirror or record yourself to spot and correct these common mistakes. Remember, quality over quantity, it's better to do fewer push-ups with good form than many with poor form. Always start with a warm-up to prepare your muscles. Focus on good form to prevent injury. Take a short rest between sets. Adjust the number of sets and push-ups according to your fitness level. As you get stronger, try to do more push-ups in each set. This push-up routine is part of a calisthenics workout designed for building chest and biceps muscles. It's a versatile routine that requires no gym, making it suitable for home workouts. The perfect time to do push-ups depends on your schedule and personal preference. It's best to avoid doing push-ups immediately after a meal, especially a heavy one, as it can cause discomfort and affect your performance. If you're doing push-ups as part of a workout routine, it's recommended to do them after a warm-up and before other exercises. This way, you can perform them with proper form and avoid fatigue. Remember, every push-up you do is a step closer to your fitness goals. Each time you feel like giving up, think about why you started. Visualize the stronger, healthier version of yourself that you're working towards. Your dedication today is shaping a better tomorrow. You're not just pushing up against the ground, you're lifting yourself towards your dreams. Make sure to share your progress in the comments below.